Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com and today we're going to take a quick look at Google Wallet on some unsupported devices. Let's go take a look. So Google Wallet has two components. The first thing is an online component where you have your payment information, your name uh, and whatnot set up so you can make online purchases. That used to be called Google Checkout, but they've now rolled it all together under the Wallet brand, which is really kind of nice and kind of sets the stage for being able to deploy Wallet across more devices and more areas. Now, how can you use this? A lot of credit cards today are coming with an NFC chip. Some people refer to it as an RFID chip built in. Most of those are by MasterCard and most of those are Citibank. You take them to say 7-Eleven or McDonald's and instead of swiping your card through the reader, you simply tap your card on the little PayPass, I believe is the name brand. Doing that reads the card number essentially off of that card's chip and you can pay for it that way without swiping. Well, since the Nexus S, has an NFC chip, if you will, right in there with all the necessary componentry, you can do the same thing there. Well, if you take a look over here, this is the Galaxy Nexus and it also has an NFC chip in it. So what can we do? Well, first of all, come back over here. Google Wallet is only officially available for the Nexus S 4G from Sprint, which this is not. This is the GSM version of the Galaxy, uh, or excuse me, of the Nexus S. If you go through and set everything up just right, and don't mind wiping your phone in the process, you can get Google Wallet set up and running. There are some caveats, but if you take a look, we'll open it right up. It initializes, takes just a minute. You cannot bypass this pin, so we'll go ahead and type that in. Once we've done that, and when I say bypass, I mean you can't disable it that, uh, that I've been able to find yet. So right now we have offers, which is kind of like uh, the Google Shopping type stuff. We've got a receipt of what you have purchased already. Loyalty cards, so that's like, uh, come down in here, Office Max, their uh, Max Perks rewards. Uh, there aren't a lot of uh, other types of rewards cards like we've got a whole bunch of grocery store cards that aren't in there yet, um, but hopefully soon. So you can use those uh, during checkout. You also have payment cards. Now payment cards you can wire up your Citibank MasterCard or you can set up a prepaid Google uh, debit card essentially. Now you can see we're getting some lag right here, but when you open that up, you can choose your card. When you tap this on a terminal, it should open up and ask you if you want to, uh, to pay. Let's switch over to the Galaxy Nexus, which is kind of the same thing. If you unlock your Nexus, which I have done, and if you root your Nexus, which I have done, then you too can, see if I put this anywhere on the screens for us, you too can install a hacked version of Wallet. So we'll go ahead and open that up. We'll enter my PIN, and from here, same display, we'll open up our payment cards, and here you can see that I've got a Google Pay Pass debit MasterCard, so I should be able to use this at any Pay Pass account and pay for stuff very simply, and then that will deduct from my $10 that they gave me for free. Google Wallet is allegedly only available in the US and technically not available for this phone or the other phone that I showed you, but you can see that you can hack things into it if you want. The instructions are kind of in depth, but we'll go over them in brief for you at the article over at pocketnow.com if you want to try it yourself. Just a word to the wise, doing this on the Nexus S will require that you're running Cyanogen Mod uh, nightly 212 or more recent or another compatible ROM and flash things in a particular order. So you're going to have to wipe and start fresh with this. With the Galaxy Nexus, you don't have to wipe and start fresh as long as you have unlocked and rooted your phone. If you haven't, as I hadn't, you will have to wipe as part of the, the OEM unlocking process. But overall, really cool. Paying for stuff with your phone via Google Wallet on unsupported devices for PocketNow. I'm Joe Levi.